Security Division. Welcome to the Cybersecurity Training Module on Internet, Email and Social Media. In this module, you will learn how to use the Internet, Email and Social Media appropriately and securely, both at work and at home. At the end, there are five questions to answer. You will need to answer at least four of these correctly to complete the module successfully. When you are ready, click Next to begin. By the end of this module, you will be able to apply and be aware of safe practices when using IT devices, email and the internet. You will also be able to use social media safely and responsibly. Lastly, you will understand the risks of unexpected links and attachments. This article is a real-life example of a phishing scam that had huge consequences for the company and the employee involved. Everyone is a potential target, so we need to be careful to prevent the same thing from happening to one of us. Every day we handle lots of sensitive information that is valuable to cyber criminals, making us a tempting target for attackers. If cyber criminals obtain your login credentials, they could get into our systems and steal our information or damage our reputation. You must keep your login credentials secure to help prevent an attack. Cyber criminals will use any method they can to access our systems or information. They could use weak or compromised passwords. They could take information from your social media profile and use it in a targeted attack. They could also send fake emails designed to trick you into revealing passwords or confidential information. We must do everything we can to keep our information safe at work and at home. This means using the internet safely and appropriately and keeping our computers and devices secure. Things you must do to keep your devices secure. Select the icons to find out more. Devices with a strong password. Keep your passwords secret. Use different passwords for different systems. Protect sensitive information with a strong password. Change your password if it has been compromised. Only install approved software. Lock your device away from it. Down your computer at the end of the day. If you think your device has been compromised, contact the group service desk, help desk, or your local support team straight away. We must use the internet, email and social media professionally and securely. You should only publish information that has been formally approved for publication. It must not contain sensitive or offensive information. When expressing a personal view, speak in the first person. Members can use the things we post on the internet to access our sensitive information or damage our reputation. To help prevent this, you should only share information classified as public online. You should never post anything defamatory, discriminatory, harassing or threatening. You sometimes need to use internet, email and use the things we post on the internet to access our sensitive information or damage our reputation. To help prevent this, you should only share information classified as public online. Never post anything defamatory, discriminatory, harassing or threatening. Read the scenario that you could find yourself in at work. Read through the scenario and think about what you should do in this situation. Pick your answer and then select Submit. Share data online if it has been classified as public. If the data has not been given a classification label, it should be treated as company confidential by default. 
to gain access to our sensitive information. We must use email sensibly and securely to help prevent an attack. You must also avoid sending spam or forwarding mass emails. Your emails must never contain anything offensive or illegal. Keep an eye out for phishing emails. Avoid sending confidential information by email and always protect it with a password. Use the internal certificate for internal emails for extra protection. Only use the approved file transfer service to securely send company, colleague or client information. Use your personal email or a public transfer tool. A suspicious email that you could find yourself in at work. Read through the scenario and think about what you should do in this situation. Instruct someone if their behaviour is against company policy and is putting sensitive information at risk. It is always a good idea to instruct someone if their behaviour is against company policy and is putting sensitive information at risk. It is even more important that you report the behaviour to a manager so we can keep our information safe. Do not send sensitive company information to personal email accounts because they are more vulnerable to data leakage, whether personally or professionally. You must remember that what goes online stays online. Cyber criminals could use personal information posted online to create a targeted attack. They could also use information to work out to your passwords or answers to your security questions. Information posted on social media can be very hard to remove, even if you think you have deleted it. When I enter to your profile, you social engineers and puts Capgemini at social media. Remember to never click links from unknown sources. You should be professional and be very careful about posting work-related information. Remember that breaches of our guidelines, which you can find in our social media policy, will be sanctioned according to local HR policy. Scenario that you could find yourself in at work. Read through the scenario and think about what you should do in this situation. Social media profile. It belongs to Bob. Here is a quick recap of the key points that were covered.